Hi, folks. If you're here for the wiki species session, would you like to move forward? Because we're going to be having a discussion. Okay, welcome everybody and thank you for coming to this session. Can I ask, other than me and Lydia, how many of you were at this session in Montreal in 2017? Nobody. Okay, so that's going to be interesting. Oh, you, you were there. Good. Um, three of us then. So, um, what I wanted to talk about today was the relationship between wiki species and the rest of the Wikimedia movement, and particularly Wikidata. Uh, and the reason for that is I spend a fair bit of my time on Wikispaces as an admin and su supporting the community there. Although I'm not a taxonomist uh, or a biologist and I'm not able to... There's some strange noises coming from the background. Um, I'm, uh, so I'm not able to get involved in the taxonomic side of the discussion very much, but I am an interested um, amateur natural historian, so I, so I participate there. And what I've observed over the years is that there is a divide between the core of the wiki species community who are very knowledgeable taxonomists, subject experts, many of them professionals, some of them um, leading uh, uh, amateurs of high renown, um, and the rest of the Wikimedia movement. And I've said to them in the past that, in a nutshell, if we were setting up uh, wiki species today, we wouldn't do it the way it's done we'd use Wikidata to host the data, and then we'd produce a front end, something like Scolia, for those of you who know it, uh, to, to render the data in the way that Wikispecies currently renders what is very unstructured data in the main part. And we had a discussion about this in Montreal in 2017, and people agreed that things could be improved. And in some small ways on Wikispecies, they have been, so some data in wiki species now comes from wiki data so, uh, for instance images for most individual species rather than the higher ranks uh, we simply put a template on the wiki species page that says put the image from wiki data here and we call in whichever is the lead image for that species on wiki data which saves the taxonomist the bother of trying to choose which is the best image or argue over it uh, or whatever um, and we do the same for authority control for uh, taxonomists who are written about on Wikispecies. So there are pages on Wikispecies for each taxon, for each species and genus. There are pages for each person who named a species uh, or genus. Uh, and there are pages for the publications that uh, described that species or genus. So the authority control for the people is also pulled in from Wikidata. We had an RFC a couple. <coughs> excuse me. We had an RFC a couple of years ago, and there was agreement in principle to using structured templates for the bibliographic data for the publications. And once that's done, there's no reason that that data couldn't be pulled in from Wikidata. But that hasn't yet been implemented. Um, and that's partly through lack of volunteer time of people who are expert enough to write the Lua code. I'm a template editor, but I'm not a Lua coder, so I can't do that. So I wonder, and this is going to be a discussion, I'm not here to present slides or anything like that, but I wonder if any of you uh, have any views on what I've described so far, uh, any ideas for how we could take things forward, any reasons why we shouldn't take things forward, or, or if you can identify any other issues that might uh, stand in the way. And we'll have to use the microphone because there are people watching remotely. So uh, if you want to speak. Well, thank you for organizing this meeting. Um, I'm Fernando Chubi from Argentina. I am a biologist. I work also in paleontology. I am not a taxonomist. I used to use Wikispecies some years ago at the university teaching with Wikispecies and Wikidata and Wiki Wikipedia. And then I stopped using uh, with the species. Um, I didn't find it uh, easy to to uh, integrate with other um, uh, other tasks of students. Um, but um, I was wondering was which was the future of of species. Uh, 
I am eager to listen to what you are going to show us and and I imagine an integration of information of Wikidata, Wikipedia and Wikispecies so that I can uh, refer to the same queue, etc. from Wikidata for a species, a genus or whatever. I don't know how is it going to behave when 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 taxonomy changes, so it is, which is very us, usual when uh, taxonomists revise groups, but never mind, I'm just here to learn. Thank you. Um, one question which comes to my mind quite often when I look at the well-established, long-lasting wiki projects is, is the MediaWiki software a good tool for them? It's like, I know that uh, wiki source contributors struggle with the software. I know that it's not the perfect way of showing and navigating images on commons. And there are internal discussions in these projects about, is it really usable? Do we, do we do something about it? Do we build a whole bunch of templates and technical solutions around it? Do we leave it as it is? Do we suffer? Do we move forward? So my concern here is, is a catalog-like project, like Wikispecies, a good content to be built around MediaWiki software. Um, I think that's a very fair question. Um, and I think it's, uh, without being rude, it's an academic question because it's what's being used. We do have a catalogue that is being built in MediaWiki. Um, you could argue that it would be better built in Wikibase and then rendered in MediaWiki or wherever else. Um, but I think the option of saying, well, no, it's not the right software, we need some different software, isn't really one that we have the option to take at the moment. But I think it's a valid question and, and uh, <coughs> it's certainly something that should be borne in mind perhaps in the longer term. Um, not directly to this, but I would be interested who here actually edits Wiki Species and who edits Wikidata and who edits both. Uh, so raise your hand for Wiki Species. Okay, Wikidata. Okay, um, that means you three both. Um, I think that is part of the problem. The people we probably should be talking to are not necessarily here. <laughs> This is very true. I've um, suggested in the past to people on Wikispecies that they should be here at Wikimania. Um, I've reminded them that the remote participation was available. Uh, I've seen no sign that anybody's actually turned up. As I say, there is a divorce between um, a very tight-knit and very uh, skillful community uh, and the wider Wikimedia movement. And I don't know how to um, resolve that. I've tried and, and uh, it's not easy. I think another aspect uh, that concerns me is the model of the taxonomy that's used because it's not a field where there is absolute truth like um, you might argue there is in physics or chemistry. I'm sure there are physicists or, physicists or chemists who might disagree. Um, but there are different agreements <coughs> as to which are valid taxons and which should be merged or split or whatever. And it's noticeable sometimes that Wikipedia Wikimedia Commons, Wikidata and Wikispecies don't necessarily agree with each other and you sometimes have two, three or even four different versions of the taxonomy. Now it is possible in Wikidata uh, to represent multiple versions of the truth according to different sources. The other projects, all, including Wikispecies, all attempt to represent one version of the truth. Life would be a lot simpler for everybody if the one version of the truth that was being represented by each of those projects was the same one version of the truth rather than a version of the truth. Sorry, was it you who raised your hand, Michael, or, or you? you? Okay, continue on. Even in perhaps one of the most well-studied, well-understood groups of organisms, birds, there are at least three official 
different lists of all the bird species of the world maintained by different official organizations, none of which agree, none of which are subsets of the other, uh, and that's quite without the actual regional checklist. So the official New Zealand checklist of birds drawn by the New Zealand Ornithological Society does not agree with the Cornell or the other two either. So we don't, even, and that's in birds, that's a very well understood group. Now, in less and more obscure groups than who knows which, which particular classification it is we were supposed to be representing. Uh, at the beginning, you said that you would not be getting into taxonomy, at least for that part of the session, so I was holding back. But I'm sorry, it's time for me to be blunt. <laughs> if there are multiple taxonomies circulating in the world, and there are, and if the solution adopted at Wiki Species is not sufficient to address them, and if Wiki Data addresses this issue sufficiently, I think that sort of answers the question of to migrate or not to migrate. I know that the um, taxonomists on Wiki Species have a version of the truth. Um, how they resolve the issue of the different bird lists, I don't know. Um, but but they, they only represent one, one model. Um, whether wiki species, sorry, whether wiki data um, is correctly and capable, uh, is correctly capable of representing all the different models of taxonomy, I don't know. I'm not in the I, I, said it's, I said it's capable of representing different models, whether it does represent them and whether it's capable of representing all of the models, I'm not so sure. But again, I'm not in a position to judge that. But it's, a very it's a clearly a very complex system. For the sake of our online audience. For the sake of the online audience, it's technically possible for Wikidata to say, that according to some sources, this species belongs in this family, and according to a different classification, it belongs in another family. The problem is, is that you want to normally come up with a hierarchy, a single hierarchy you could use to start answering questions or running search results or something. I mean, it wants to say which is the deprecated, which is the preferred version of that classification. Wikidata is still hierarchical and still wants one single nested hierarchy, I think. So that, that leaves a question of, and, and I promise I'll shut up, I'll leave in, uh, <laughs> I don't want to dominate this, this discussion anymore. So that leaves a question of doing the footwork of actually setting up the taxonomies in Wikidata. If, as you are saying, the system is capable of accepting what you refer to as different versions of reality, let's say, and there is no reality, there are just sources, right? <laughs> so if Wikidata is capable of accommodating different versions of reality, now is the question of the footwork to, either the footwork to actually uh, reflect the multiple taxonomies in Wikidata, or employ an automated uh, system, a, a bot, a script, whatever, to, to uh, to populate those those taxonomies properly with the individual branches. Thank you, interesting thoughts. Um, I'd like to extend Lydia's question. Lydia asked how many of you edit Wikidata? How many of you edit Wikidata about taxonomic names of living things? Yeah, okay. Can I ask how you find doing that on Wikidata? when it comes to the issue of different models of taxonomy. Anyone like to comment? Um, I guess I'm, you know, I'm Alex from Australia. I'm, uh, I've got a science background, but absolutely nothing to do with biology or <laughs> anything like that. But, but uh, yeah, I have found it sort of interesting. Um, I guess, yeah, for me being quite, I mean, I don't want to say ignorant, but uh, yeah, just sort of not, not I would say not very knowledgeable on uh, on taxonomy and biology in general, um, but I still really enjoy, you know, sort of putting in taxon authors and years that things were named. I guess it's, for me, it's uh, just that difficulty of understanding things like, 
you know, recombinations and synonyms and so on and how to model those. Um, I, I think it has got better. Like I remember a few years ago, um, yeah, you know, just there was absolutely, there was nothing, no, nothing about how to represent those. And I think it's one of those things like, like um, published b books and so on that where the model has been developed and, or, you know, sort of iterated on and built over the years and the documentation gets better over time. And, uh, you know, if I check now, it'll probably be better than the last time I checked. But yeah, I think that's, um, you know, sort of, I guess what most of what I do is just putting in authors, you know, finding the, and, and it's, that's one of those things I find really useful about the Wikidata way, um, as opposed to say Wiki Species and Wikipedia is that it normally is just the, the surname appears and there's no actual link to the, um, to the uh, biologist who, who did the name or the classification. Um, sometimes, I mean, there's in, you know, an info box and it'll have just the, um, well, it'll usually just have no author at all. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, the point we're skirting around that you're quite aware of is that Wikidata can't agree what a taxon is. So there's two different models. If we have, if we look at the, the common house sparrow, Passer domesticus, little brown bird. Now there's an item for Passer domesticus. Does it refer to a little brown bird or does it refer to the name Passer domesticus, which was coined in by probably Linnaeus in the 18th century and this particular publication and so it is a subset of this genus Passer and whatnot. And some folks in Wikidata really, really want to be able to say that Freddie the Sparrow in a, in a Hollywood movie is an instance, say, of Passer domesticus. But of course it's not because Passer domesticus is actually a label, a two-word label given to a concept of a taxonomic name, which may not even be a valid name. It may not even actually be used anymore. It might be defunct, but it still exists in Wikidata because you have to have all the synonyms. So what we have to do instead is say Passer domesticus, Freddie the Sparrow is an instance of um, an individual of the species Passer domesticus. Um, and the battle seems to be, and you know much more about this than me, between people who want to treat the, the taxonomic names in Wikidata as free-floating labels with a particular hierarchy, but you can't say something like, well, this name has, the, has a range of Eurasia and has been introduced to, to New Zealand, because you can't say that about a a two-word label, that's not a thing. It's the sparrows that have been introduced to New Zealand, the sparrows that currently have the label Passer domesticus attached to them, but they might change that label one day and go by a different name. And that's not really how Wikidata, because Wikidata doesn't seem to be able to agree on what it, how it's going to model those facts. Is that, that seem fair to you, Andy, or what do you think? Sadly, yes, it does. Um, does anybody else want to add anything before I move on? Okay, so we're over halfway through our half hour slot um, and we've identified a number of issues with uh, wiki species uh, around lack of integration with the rest of the movement or lack of integration with other Wikimedia projects uh, and possibly about the software not being appropriate. And we've identified some potential issues with Wikidata, but Lydia's here, so they'll all be fixed very quickly. Um, <laughs> No, some, some issues are around modelling which, which may take quite some time to resolve. Uh, they certainly haven't been resolved easily so far. What I'd like to do in the next 10 minutes is talk about, uh, I won't say solutions, because these may be insoluble or very difficult to solve problems, but the next steps towards a solution. So what can we do to, uh, as Wikimedians, to be more welcoming to those in wiki species who perhaps don't see themselves as part of this movement? Um, as those, as people who do edit wiki species, what can we do to be more um, collaborative around that work? What can we do as wiki datans to improve the modelling of the taxonomy in such a way that it's more easily to integrate with wiki species? And what can we do on wiki species to use <coughs> data from wiki data more effectively, even if we can't do the taxonomic data yet? Because as I said at the beginning, we, we started with things like the authority control for the people and the images of the species. So we did the low-hanging fruit 
rather than trying to address the taxonomic modelling issue. Um, and as an aside, one of the things that concerns me is there is a lot of data in wiki species that is not being captured in Wikidata or indeed any of the other Wikimedia projects. So if a species is in wiki species, there will be a Wikidata entry. But as I alluded to when you spoke, um, the paper that uh, originated that species name and the author of that name may be in wiki species as unstructured prose but it's not captured in Wikidata, it's not captured in Wikipedia. How can we make wiki species more structured so the data can more easily be integrated into Wikidata and eventually be served from Wikidata? Anybody got any ideas? No. Well, I'll put, I'll put it another way. If you had to do something, what would you do first? Pardon? Site Q. Thank you. Site Q is on Wiki Species. Um, it's very little used. Part of the problem is the rendering because the Wiki Species editors like to render their sources in a different way to the Wikipedias from which the template has been copied. And we need a lure editor to help us modify the citation template so that it renders the correct way. And then I think very quickly we'd get consensus to, to use that. But yes, that's a good, uh, good first step, I think. Do we have any Lua coders in the room who would be interested in getting involved with that? Okay. I'll talk to you about that a bit more later then. Anybody else got <laughs> 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 Has anybody else got anything that they would suggest? How much are people on Wiki Species excited about visualizations and about visualizations? <laughs> as far as I'm aware, that they're not at all. They just want a flat database or flat um, catalog. Like I'm also an editor on Wiki Species, and there has been work done. But it had to be very labor intensive. I think they they code it in Python so that it generates kind of like the, the the family tree or like a like a bubble map of how how things are related with one another. And I, I believe there there was a lot of uptake, but that was at least good ten years ago. So there was someone that was uh, active in the community, but given that uh, the page constantly upgrade updating and and there's images being added, removed, and etc. So. Uh, for now, I would say it's presented in a in in like a flat database format, but there's definitely some interest towards kind of like a linkage or uh, or visualizing uh, kind of kind of way. Um. Yes. <laughs> so, in general. Uh, to get people excited about Wikidata and understand it, um, visualizations and are that show how this data goes beyond what is in one item, but exploiting the actual graph is usually helpful to get people excited. Um, and I was wondering if one opportunity would be to um, make visualizations more accessible. So this could be something as simple as uh, a link in an info box to some tool that does a visualization or um, even thinking about some visualizations on Wiki, but that may be as a future step. I think so. And I think, again, we're going for the low hanging fruit. We could perhaps make the Scolia link for the authors uh, more prominent and possibly even embed it with something within the page on wiki spaces and that would hopefully whet people's appetite to do more with it for other types of content so I'll go away. I'll undertake to go away and have a look at that anybody else well we have only five minutes left so 
oh, we're getting a signal from the back, five minutes left. Um, but I'm quite happy to wrap up there if everybody's happy that we've covered everything that they wanted to discuss. Um, we haven't had any feedback, I take it, from online? No questions? No? Okay. Well, thank you all for coming. I hope that if we do this again in another six years, we have a bit more progress to discuss than we have after the last one. Um, but keep in good heart and uh, be optimistic. And thank you for your contributions.